What's going on, everybody? It is your boy, Bad Dog, here with another New York Giants video. As always, appreciate you clicking on the video. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. It helps out the channel huge. Just give me a little thumbs up. Obviously, tons of Giants content coming, man. No question about it. First preseason game of the year is Friday. Of course, Chris and I will be live for that. Talking Giants on Thursday will be live for that. And I'll be live again tonight. See if my little guy doesn't take over the stream and force me to end it early. Like yesterday, I just want to kind of go over the offense again and take your questions and everything else. It's fun to be talking Giants football again, no question about that. As I say all the time, you know, the draft ends, it's May. People are like, I can't wait for football no more. It's like, I'm not rushing the summer by because it goes by quick enough. And sure enough, here we are, staring us right in the face, NFL football. So getting ready to do that, no question about it. And, uh, you know, live stream started talking about the offense last night, but I really just want to talk about uh, Jalen Hyatt. I am uh, super excited uh, to see what Jalen Hyatt can bring uh, to the table. Uh, no doubt about this, man. It has been a long, 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 long time. I don't know if the Giants have ever had an absolute, like a pure burner like Jalen Hyatt. Now, coming out of Tennessee, I mean, the man won the Fred Bolitnikoff Award as the best receiver in college football, he tore Alabama up for, I believe, five touchdowns. This is one of the most uh, magnificent performances I've ever seen. And, of course, question, you know, a big question coming out of college was his route tree. Yeah, can he run routes? Can he do all those things? Can he run a crisp route? Does he know a bunch of different routes? Can he learn a bunch of different routes? And so far, results have spoken for themselves in training camp. He's been very exciting to watch. Now, again, I don't put too much stock in training camp. They are in shorts. They are in padded helmets. I mean, you're not really clocking the guys and everything else, but it's much better to see these guys perform as to not performing. You wouldn't want to see Jalen Hyde have a bunch of drops or running the wrong routes. He has been torching the Giants secondary. It gives us that absolute just pure burner, the Tyreek Hill type of speed, the Jalen Waddle type of speed, the speed that can just you know, it stretches the defense. It scares the defense. Oh God, we got to make sure that we don't let this guy get behind us or it's over. We haven't had that kind of threat in a long time. You know, you can talk about Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham was special. I'm not going to sit here and say, Jan and I, it's going to be Odell Beckham. But Odell Beckham wasn't even a 4-2-9, 4-3 guy. He was a 4-4 guy. But once Beckham got out in front of you, uh, you weren't going to catch him. I mean, he was just an explosive, uh, you know, receiver. He was a very fast receiver. I wouldn't say explosive. I just think he was very fast. Jalen Hyatt has explosive track running speed as a matter of fact i think i saw a graphic that usain bolt uh, one of the fastest men on the planet uh ran 27.9 miles an hour that's ridiculous i mean i drive you know some of these side streets i'm driving 30 miles an hour i'm just thinking a human being is running as fast as my car is going uh pretty much uh, but jail high got up to 24 miles an hour that is faster than tyree kill has hit tyree kill i think was 23.6 23.7 whatever it was Jalen High was actually faster in that aspect. I mean, you can take that with a grain of salt. You can take that however you want. But I am pumped up about Jalen High, man, because, again, this just gives the Giants a, a totally different demand. He's TNT, man. He's dynamite. You know, you talk about all these weapons. You know, you got Darren Waller. He's a great weapon. He might be like a shotgun or so. You know what I mean? He's just, he's that type of guy. You got little pistols, you know, in the in the slot, uh, you know, with Wandale when he gets healthy and Sterling Shepard, perhaps Paris Campbell plays in the slot. You know, you got those guys, but then you got some dynamite. You, you know, you got some dynamite on the outside in Jalen Hyatt. What this kid can bring to the table is anybody's guess. Um, so, you know, again, this is just a, a totally new facet for Daniel Jones. You've seen them have really good rapport in training camp. It seems like they have really good chemistry. You know, you've seen Daniel Jones pumping them up. You've seen Sterling Shepard pumping them up. Uh, if you're a New York Giants fan, you have to be excited about the prospect of Jalen Hyatt, who, you know, a lot of us Giants fans would have been happy getting him in the second round. If we actually would have moved our rounds up, say we missed out on Deontay Banks, and the Giants took JMS at 25 and Jalen Hyatt at 57. 
Uh, I'm pretty sure Giants fans would not have thrown a fit about it. The fact that you're able to get Deontay Banks and JMS, John Michael Schmitz, and then trade up and get the Blitnikoff Award winner at a college football, probably the fastest receiver to come out of this draft class, one of the fastest receivers we've seen in a long time. Um, you got to be excited about the prospects of what he can bring to the New York Giants offense. You're going to see much bigger chunk plays this year. Gigantic knock on Daniel Jones and I'm not talking about Giants fans. There's some Giants fans that still don't believe in Daniel Jones. This is a big knock on them. The analysts that call him or bottom-tier quarterback or former players that call him a bottom-tier quarterback, say he's overrated, say he didn't deserve the money. He was just, you know, a dink and dunk type of quarterback. They don't ever want to account for the weapons that he had or or lack thereof. They don't want to account for the fact that Richie James, who got $1 million on a contract, was his number one receiver for most of the year before Isaiah Hodgins came aboard. The fact that we lost Sterling Shepard, the fact that we lost Wondell Robinson, the fact that they lost a guy like Colin Johnson in training camp. The fact that they lost Daniel Bellinger for a few weeks there because of a torn retina or whatever happened to his eye. Um, things like that. You know, they don't take into account all this stuff. That he really didn't have any really good wide receivers. And even now, if you look at PFF or some of these other places that rate wide receivers, the Giants are still near the bottom of the league when you're rating your wide receiving core. Uh, there's a lot of questions. There's no question about that. You know, Jalen Hyatt is a question where he's just very fast. You can teach a route tree. You can teach, you know, running crisper routes. You cannot teach that explosive speed. That is either God-given or it's not. And he has God-given speed. But Paris Campbell's a one-year deal. Sterling Shepard's a one-year deal. You know, you also talk about Darius Slayton. You know, he had a nice comeback year, but he dropped a lot of passes uh, as well. So, but you have some burners. Darius Slayton can run. Paris Campbell can run. And now, like I said, you got an explosive weapon on the outside in Jalen Hyatt. And what that's going to do is it's got to have to back off the defense. When you're scared about getting the stretched on the outside, it can open up the inside in the middle of that field for a guy like Darren Waller. I know some Giants fans uh, have talked about how the Giants are trying to build this like the Kansas City Chiefs offense. And if you're ever going to build or you know model yourself after an NFL offense, it should be the Chiefs. They are one of the best offenses in the league, if not the best offense in the league. And they've done it with outside speed and a guy like Travis Kelsey. But they also have a really good offensive line and they didn't need a superstar running back. The Giants still have that superstar running back, but obviously there's question marks on that offensive line still outside of Andrew Thomas, who absolutely destroyed Kayvon Thibodeau today uh, in practice. <laughs> so I'm excited about the prospects of Jalen Hyde. I'm certainly excited about the prospects of the New York Giants. You're going to see them trust Daniel Jones more the second year in the system. He's acclimated to it. Uh, you're going to see, I'm not going to sit here and say they're going to drop him back 40, 45 times and throw the ball over the field. They're not going to say, do what Pat Mahomes does, Daniel. He's not expected to be Patrick Mahomes. But you will see a lot more, you know, 20-yard passes in the air, I would imagine, with guys like Campbell and, of course, Jalen Hyatt. And even if you're missing some of those, it's still just a prospect, just the threat of that guy outside that can really, if he gets by you, you're not catching him. That does a lot for a defense. It really does. So it does a lot for an offense, too. But it does a lot to get in the heads of the cornerback and the defense of the other team saying, God, what are we going to do? Whatever. It's just something that defenses last year did not have to acclimate for, didn't have to account for, not acclimate, didn't have to account for on our offense. So they do this year. Jalen Hyatt is explosive. Jalen Hyatt has got a world of potential. I'm extremely excited to see what he does. I would imagine he's going to play Friday against the Detroit Lions. And again, you can take practice, you can take training camp, exhibition games, preseason games, whatever you want to call them. Take them with a grain of salt. You know, it is what it is. But like I said, I'd much rather see these guys getting positive reviews and doing positive things in training camp as opposed to, oh, Jalen Hyatt's running the wrong routes. There was a miscommunication between Jalen Hyatt and Dale Jones. You know, Jalen Hyatt doesn't know the playbook, kind of like Kadarius Tony didn't know the playbook last year. You know, that type of thing. Jalen Hyatt shot passes. You don't want to hear any of that. We haven't heard any of that. We've heard nothing but great reviews about Jalen Hyatt this preseason. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing him play on Friday. And I'm looking forward for sure to see what he can bring to the New York Giants offense in 2023. So give me your thoughts as always. Thank you for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Hit the like, subscribe, ring the bell. 
Come back tonight. I'll be live about 10, 10, 30. Just uh, check my channel because, you know, YouTube doesn't always give you the notification. So just check the channel at 10 o'clock. If I'm not live, come back at 10, 30. We'll be live to talk about some more New York Giants offense. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your Monday. It's Bad Diggy Dizzle, and I'm out. Peace.